Hey there. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to shed light on a fascinating topic and explore a whole new dimension of pollution that you probably haven't heard much about. So, let me begin by asking this question. When you hear the term pollution, which types of pollution usually come to your mind? Most of you would have said air, water, soil, and noise pollution. But did you know there's another kind of pollution that has been gaining attention in recent times? It's called light pollution. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? Well, let's find out why studying or knowing about light pollution is so important. Imagine this. You are standing in the countryside gazing up at the night sky and you should be able to see countless stars twinkling above you. But unfortunately, due to light pollution, many of those stars are hidden from view. Light pollution is caused by the excessive and misdirected artificial light produced by human activities. Think about the street lights, billboards and even the lights from our own homes that contribute to this problem different types of light pollution. Glare, which is excessive brightness that causes visual discomfort. Sky glow, which is the brightening of the night sky over inhabited areas. Light trespass, it is light falling where it is not intended or needed. Clutter, which is bright, confusing and excessive groupings of light sources. Did you know street lighting contributes to 50% of the sky glow in urban areas? But why does it matter? Let's uncover the reasons. First, light pollution disrupts ecosystems and affects wildlife. Many animals rely on natural light cues for navigation, breeding and survival. Excessive artificial light confuses their natural patterns causing disorientation and impacting their behavior. This also affects the birds that migrate at night. Light pollution affects human health and well-being. Our bodies rely on natural light dark cycles to regulate sleep, hormone production and overall health. Excessive artificial light disrupts this delicate balance leading to sleep disorders, increased stress levels and even the potential long-term health risks. 3. Light pollution can impact astronomical research and observations. Observatories and scientists depend on clear dark skies to study celestial objects and phenomena. Excessive artificial light can hinder the ability to gather accurate data and make groundbreaking discoveries. Light pollution also has a significant impact on energy consumption. The excessive and inefficient use of artificial lighting wastes a tremendous amount of energy. How can we reduce this pollution? Firstly, we can start by using outdoor lighting responsibly. Consider using motion sensors or timers to ensure lights are only active when needed. By directing the light where it's needed and avoiding unnecessary illumination, we can significantly reduce light pollution. Reduce the use of decorative lighting. Let's prioritize energy-efficient lighting options. Switching to LED lights not only saves energy, but also helps reduce light pollution. Thus, by making small changes in our own lives and advocating responsible lighting practices, we can make a tangible difference. Together, let's raise awareness, protect our environment and reclaim the magic of the night sky. That's it for today. Hope the video was informative. If you liked the video, hit the like button and please share it with your family and friends to spread awareness. Subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching.